orthodontic bracketing. This procedure is one of the most important procedures in orthodontics when using fixed orthodontics and it's oftentimes overlooked for the sake of speed and efficiency. But it's very important to understand that if you do not position your brackets correctly, a straight wire system will only express the poor position of your brackets and the teeth will end up incorrectly aligned, which is very frustrating at the end of treatment. And to avoid these problems, we'll look today at how to bracket teeth correctly. And we will start with the central incisor. The central incisor, the left side on this case, has interesting anatomical characteristics. First, we look at the incisor ledge, we look at the gingival margin, we look at the mesial aspect and the distal aspect. This particular incisor is very rectangular, but you also have tapered incisors and ovoid incisors, where the distal aspect of the tooth is vastly different from the mesial. You also must assess the degree of wear of the incisor ledge, especially in adult patients, because all these characteristics of the crown of the tooth will have an impact on the bracket positioning. So let's start with the bracket positioning. So we'll use a 022 twin bracket. The first and most important thing probably, or one of the most important things is to position your bracket in the center of the tooth. The bracket now can be moved sideways, can be moved up and down. And let's see if we can see a very interesting aspect of this software is if I move the bracket to the side, you can see a little red dot and a green line and the red dot has to align with the green line. So if we are a little bit mesial to the green line, let's see what it looks like. Now you can definitely assess that this bracket is not correctly positioned. It's too mesial. Let's go back and position now the bracket to the distal, slightly to the distal. You can see the distance does not appear much, but when you look at the bracket immediately, you can see it's too distal. And also from the incisal edge, you can see that this bracket will not express the correct positioning. So the first very important aspect is to position the bracket in the center, right so, maybe a bit more. You need to position the incisal aspect of the bracket parallel to the incisal edges. So the first thing is center the bracket mesiodistally. Second thing is to position the bracket incisal edge parallel to the incisal edge, which also, according to Andrews, has to be positioned in a particular way according to the prescription of brackets you use. In the Roth prescription system, the upper bracket or the upper incisor bracket has to be positioned at four millimeters, which is right here. So again, this is the position of the center of the slot to the incisal edge is four millimeters. In the MBT or other prescriptions, the height of the slot to the incisal edge will be slightly different, which in this case is five millimeters. You can appreciate the difference between the look of this positioning and the rough conventional positioning. It does not really matter which one you use. You have to fit the height that is required by the prescription. Why is it important? It's because if you notice carefully, this bracket has a certain amount of torque built into the slot. So the slot and the base of the bracket, it's called torque in base. We've seen that before. It's cut at a specific angle. If you change the positioning of 
the tooth of the bracket on the tooth, you're going to see that the bracket now has a different torque expression because this, the base has changed angulation in relation to the base of the bracket. So that's very important if you go this way. And obviously if you put it to incisal, you can now see that the torque is completely different. In conclusion, the positioning of the bracket is very important. In an upper central incisor, if you use a Roth prescription, the center of the slot has to be at 4 millimeters to the incisal edge. The incisal aspect of the tooth, the incisal edge of the bracket is parallel to the incisal edge of the tooth. And it had this correct angulation. You do not want a bracket position like this because then the wire will express a different tip. These brackets are not desirable because they will position the root of the tooth whenever the wire has stopped its activation very much mesially. So this is the look of a good positioning for by according to Roth. And if you want to have a look at a more gingival aspect at five millimeters, that would be the look of a higher prescription, maybe an MBT or other prescriptions. With, we are using different cuts for their slots. And this is what the bracket will look on the tooth. It's still centered mesiodistally and it's still in good position, but it's a slightly different height and you cannot mix Roth and MBTs and other prescriptions on the height position. You have to follow the instructions. Thank you.